In his nine years at Liverpool, Jurgen Klopp has spent at least £800 million on acquiring new players. Has it all been worth it? Today, we're delving into the financial impact of Jurgen Klopp on Liverpool FC. Without a doubt, Klopp has transformed Liverpool on the pitch. At the same time, he has also left an indelible mark on the club's treasury. Back in October 2015, Jurgen Klopp stepped into Liverpool and ignited hopes of a resurgence. Known for his charismatic personality and gegenpressing tactics, Klopp's tenure promised an exciting era for Liverpool fans and the club's owners, Fenway Sports Group or FSG. However, in February 2024, Klopp announced that he would be leaving the club by the end of the 2023 24 season. The 56 year old attributed his shocking decision to running out of energy. If you're eager to understand the intricacies of topics like this, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Let's get into it. With a heavy emphasis on data and finding undervalued stars through statistical research, FSG has taken a more deliberate approach to the transfer market since their arrival at Anfield in 2010, compared to many of their competitors in the Premier League. Jurgen Klopp was chosen early on in the hunt by the club's owners, in part because he was receptive to such data-driven methods. Liverpool invested heavily in key players, including £75 million for Virgil van Dijk, £66 million for Alison Becker, £34 million for Mohamed Salah and £85 million for Darwin Nunez, demonstrating a strategic approach to building a competitive squad. This was balanced by the sale of Philippe Coutinho in 2018 for around £142 million, highlighting a financially savvy approach to transfers and strengthening the team's performance while maintaining financial health. During Jurgen Klopp's nine-year tenure thus far, the club has spent at least £807 million sterling on acquiring new players. At the same time, Liverpool earned £532 million from player sales. Klopp's net spend, reflecting the difference between these amounts, stands at about £275 million. This financial activity under Klopp's management highlights both the club's investment in talent to strengthen the squad and the effective realisation of assets through player sales. In 2010, Fenway Sports Group paid approximately £300 million to acquire the Reds with the intention of implementing financial fair play to enforce stricter spending limits. However, the regulations were never as stringent as FSG had expected. Things finally fell into place to begin an extraordinary era for the Reds when Klopp found his groove as Brendan Rodgers' successor. It took some time, but there were indications of genuine improvement under Rodgers before he departed the club in 2015. Under Jurgen Klopp's management, Liverpool's valuation has significantly increased, with an estimated value of around £4.5 billion as of mid-2023. With revenues rising from just under £300 million in 2015, the club brought in a revenue of over £700 million for the 2021-22 season. £314 million was in broadcast revenue, a figure the club heavily relies on each and every season. Klopp's tenure has not only seen success on the pitch, but also a substantial financial boost for the club, demonstrating his profound impact on Liverpool's financial and brand value. Liverpool has won it all under Klopp's management, lifting the trophies for the Premier League, Champions League, FIFA Club World Cup, UEFA Super Cup, FA Cup and Carabao Cup, which has enabled the club to boost its revenue. German coach Jurgen Klopp is largely responsible for Liverpool's consistent qualification for the Champions League and the end of the club's trophy drought, both of which have resulted in massive financial rewards for Klopp and the Reds. The club's coefficient has increased yearly as a result of this success, 
which has led to an increase in income and the collection of approximately 480 million in prize money from the European competition. Jurgen Klopp's third contract extension with Liverpool was supposedly set to end in the summer of 2026. This extension was announced in April 2022, reflecting Liverpool's commitment to Klopp's long-term vision for the team. His salary under this third contract is reported to be around 15 million per year, indicating the value Liverpool places on his leadership. Additionally, Klopp earned £6.7 million from advertising deals in 2021, showcasing his marketability and influence both on and off the pitch. Now, let's pivot and look at the investments in the club during Klopp's time. Liverpool's Anfield Road End expansion project's cost was increased by 20 million, totaling 80 million, due to design changes and construction costs. This project is part of Fenway Sports Group's 250 million investment in the club. This also includes the main stand and the 50 million state-of-the-art AXA training centre, highlighting a significant financial commitment to improving Liverpool's infrastructure. As a result of these investments, Liverpool's matchday revenue has seen significant growth, notably after the Anfield expansions. The main stand redevelopment in 2016 added 8,500 seats, while the Anfield Road expansion added another 7,000, increasing stadium capacity to 61,000. This has more than doubled matchday revenue from about 40 million in 2010-11 to 86 million by May 2022. These expansions have significantly enhanced the matchday experience, contributing to a 39% increase in matchday revenues since the main stand's completion. Liverpool's global merchandise sales have also surged, partly due to the popularity of stars like Salah, Alexander-Arnold, Van Dijk and Becker, a significant partnership with Nike, beginning in the 2020-21 season, has boosted shirt sales, with Liverpool selling the third highest number of shirts in Europe back in 2021, reaching 2.45 million units. This deal not only elevated Liverpool's global merchandise distribution, but also brought financial perks, with Nike paying Liverpool around 30 million per year guaranteed. However, the deal's true value lies in the 20% royalties Liverpool earns from global sales of branded merchandise, potentially valuing the partnership at up to £70 million annually. This collaboration underscores a strategic move to leverage Liverpool's brand on a global scale, enhancing the club's financial and commercial portfolio. As Klopp prepares to pass the baton, his influence on Liverpool's financial health and global brand strength will undoubtedly be felt for years to come. While Klopp has been pivotal on the pitch, Fenway Sports Group also deserves substantial credit for Liverpool's financial, business and brand growth. Their vision and commitment to maintaining the club's heritage while driving forward its commercial success have been fundamental to Liverpool's transformation into a financial powerhouse in global football. Jurgen Klopp's tenure at Liverpool has been nothing short of transformative. Beyond the club's business accomplishments under his leadership, Klopp has delivered silverware and unforgettable matches. The Klopp era has rewritten the Liverpool fan experience. He will be remembered as a club legend and a football character to be admired for generations to come. If you found this valuable, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more sports insights. Catch our upcoming content for more videos about the business of football and the media landscape at large. See you in our next episode.